How's it going guys? It's Ryan again here with uh, Nank and Hobby. We've got a cool little review for you. We have the new Team Losi JRX2 Mini. So this is going to be a 116 scale buggy. It's going to be a two wheel drive. Um, they're going to come in three different colors and we'll put those on the screen here for you here. It's definitely a neat little thing. It's a retro of the one that they had back in the day. So here's a quick little view here for you. And like I said, they're gonna have three different colors. They're gonna have this blue here. They're gonna have a black with like some pink and orange stripes, and they're also gonna have a yellow with some the uh, the yellow, like just like the original body was. So before we crack into the car, what it's gonna come with inside the box is you're gonna get the manual here, just regular manual, a couple stickers, uh, a little small little toolkit just to get you going. You're gonna get a little USB charger. Let's see here. It's actually gonna charge at 1.5 amps, so it's actually not too bad. Still does go by USB. Um, you're going to get the new Spectrum radios. These I have not seen yet. These here before. These are the SLT2. Very basic, but we'll get the job done here for you. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the car, and I'll show you what's uh, what's new about it. All righty, here's a little bit more up close look at the new JRX2 Mini from Losi. Definitely a lot of detail in here from the original model. Now with these guys here, these wheels and tires, the rears are gonna be pin drive, and then the fronts actually roll on a ball bearing. So unfortunately they will not be compatible with the Mini T or the Mini B stuff on the 2.0 side. All right, let's go ahead and get this body off here. There'll be four clips, so one, two, Three, and then there's one right, the, right in front of the wing here. Take those four off and this will slide right up and over. Alrighty, very basic setup. It's gonna have a fiberglass chassis. It is pretty neat how they have the trailing arm design on this Mini here. Very technical, that's for sure, but it works really well. It's crazy how plush this is. All right, let's flip this around. You have a Spectrum SX107 analog surface uh, servo here for you with the servo saver on there. All right, and it's gonna have a receiver and ESC all in one unit. And this will only bind to the SLT radios, unfortunately. It's gonna come with a 650 milliamp battery. That's gonna be a two cell LiPo. Alrighty. Very neat little car, that's for sure. All right, so after kind of going over a little bit here, what we're gonna do is there's a little bit of a dirt track that we've uh, we found over here in Garden City Park. And we're gonna go ahead and take it for a little bit of rip. And then uh, I'll let you know my final thoughts of how, how this car performs.
Okay, we're back with the, uh, the overall thoughts and views of the Mini GRX2 from Losi. I'd have to say it's definitely a fun little buggy. Uh, performed really well. We drove them in the dirt, as you can see here. Um, with the spike tires and the ribs in the front, uh, they are just lots of traction. Never had a problem with the getting stuck or anything like that, so that was pretty neat to see. Um, with it being brushed, it is a little bit slower. Uh, there is room for gearing, so the nice part is that the motor mount has predetermined spots on it, so you can actually uh, change your gear ratio very easily and not have to mess uh, with gear lash or anything like that. So they make it pretty easy for everyone to do that. So we'll have to see, uh, we'll have to play around with a little bit of different gear ratios, see if we can make it a little bit faster. Um, but other than that, all in all, the construction is really good. It's really cool to see that they just kind of shrunk it down from the original and just made a little tiny version of it. Um, the driving style of it's really nice. It drives very similar to the original Mini T, if some of you guys remember that. <laughs> but uh, all in all, it's definitely a fun little vehicle. But if you guys like, uh, stop in at the Farmington, Ypsilanti, or the Southgate store. We all have floor models you can check out. Uh, they should be available. Don't quote me on this, but they should be available right around June, uh, or the early June, I should say. I'll have Joe uh, make a little banner right here for you. But uh, yeah, come and check it out and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe guys and we'll see you in the next video.